there are two different kinds of gaming content creators. And I know that's a huge overgeneralization, but it's important. And at the end of this video, I want you to decide which one of the two you are. This video is very difficult to make, but it's about time we talked about this and had an in-depth conversation about why gaming channels just aren't growing. Also, side note, this room is so quiet. My tinnitus is deafening in here. But gaming creators are struggling on YouTube. Not, not like the top tier, the top echelon there. Those guys are crushing it. But you should never judge a group based on its extremes. So like while the top 0.01% of gaming content creators are just crushing it, bringing home a serious bag, the average gaming creator isn't even able to pay their bills. Like remember that massive Twitch revenue leak that showed like every Twitch streamer's incomes and we learned that, what was it like, only the top 0.04% of streamers are making above minimum wage. So let's have the hard conversation about why gaming channels just in general aren't growing. And even if you are one of the lucky few to get like a spike in viewership, usually that momentum doesn't last very long. And then of course, let's talk about how to fix that. Before we get too far, I got a special spooky sponsor for you today for any streamers out there looking up to spice up their stream on Halloween. That rhymed. Today's sponsor visuals by Impulse just loaded their store with spooky designs and everything I'm about to show you is 20% off. We've got the Animal Stream Package, the Halloween update version, spooky supers for social media callouts, lower thirds and screen backgrounds, the Infected Stream Pack with webcams, transitions and overlays, as well as the Zombielicious Pack, hundreds of scary emotes and chat badges, including the animated Phantom Set, spooky Stream Deck icons, those are free by the way, and a free Halo Stream Pack. If you're bad at math, by the way, 20% off of free is also free. It just want to make sure you knew that. Use the link in the description down below to automatically have 20% off applied to your purchase or at checkout, just use Spooky Senpai. That's spelled Spooky Dash Senpai, by the way. And while you're there, check out some of their other designs. This is VBI. They're a premium design company. You won't be disappointed. Back to the video. All right, let's talk about gaming content, but just to make this digestible, let's cut this into three parts. Part one is called the problem. Gaming is massive. That's not the problem. The problem is gaming is massive and Every content creator is doing the exact same thing. If you're browsing through Twitch, you're gonna find mostly two things, gameplay and camera. Gameplay and camera. Gameplay and camera. You're either a pro gamer, best in the game, or you're an unmatched charismatic personality. And that's it. Those are basically the two verticals of gaming content. That alone is a massive problem and it makes it very hard to stand out and get noticed. But there is another problem. Both of those two things, gaming and personality, are short-lived and easy to replace. You might be a top 10 gamer at your game, but as soon as that game dies, so does your channel. You might have an amazing magnetic personality that people come to watch, but people move on. This is the mantra of social media. People are always looking for the next thing. Neither of these two things are the perfect anchor that keep the audience coming back forever, which is what brought us to part two, the half solution. The one that came up four years ago, like this YouTube channel's roots, it's, it's complete beginnings are embedded in a, what was a new idea, which was if you want to grow on Twitch, you have to grow on YouTube first, where there's more discoverability and then move that audience over. You've heard it a million times, move that audience over to Twitch. Everybody knows it now, but that was an interesting and kind of a new idea four years ago when I started this channel and started talking about that. But the problem here is even though we all know that you have to start on YouTube and move over to Twitch, no one really shared how to get started on YouTube, myself included. I've done a terrible job here. So often when I find a new gaming creator and I go and I check out their YouTube channel, we find the same thing. We find uh, full length VODs, like five hour VODs uploaded or highlight reels or clips uploaded as shorts. The exact same content that is short lived and easy to replace just posted on a different platform. Like guys, there are a million people posting Minecraft videos. It is highly unlikely that your Minecraft videos are gonna make waves. Which brings us to part three, the fix. Maybe the fix isn't the best word. Nothing was broken, nothing needs to be fixed. It's just you only had the first half of the solution, which was start a YouTube channel, which is great. You started your YouTube channel, you did it. Now, the second half of that is what do you create on there? When you look at content creators who have stood the test of time, who have survived 
the YouTube ringer. I'm talking about creators who are still relevant after five to eight years and still have a dedicated audience that will watch every video. Why? For example, Casey Neistat, Mark Rober, and MKBHD. What is it about these channels that keep them hot, even if they don't post for long periods of time? I mean, honestly, if you know the answer before I end up saying it, uh, do me a favor and hit the like button because that makes you great and it's free and it helps out this video a ton. But the thing that these three creators have in common is that they've all developed a very incredible and unique skill. Casey Neistat has his storytelling. Mark Rober used to be an engineer at NASA. MKBHD has an incredible knowledge of consumer tech. And all three of them have mastered their own unique style of filmmaking as well. And YouTube in general has such a diverse field of skills that you can learn. There are uh, engineering science channels, there are cooking channels, there are dance channels, music channels, film, photography channels, anything you can think of, there is a channel with over a million subscribers on it. Gaming has two skills, two verticals. You have gaming and you have personality. And there's nothing wrong with that. Those are both very much great marketable skills, but for some reason, that's where we decide to draw the line. Very few people in the gaming community try to learn something outside of those two things. And so if I can speak bluntly here and maybe even overgeneralize a little bit, this might not apply to you. And if it doesn't, that's great. But it seems to me that there's a massive hurdle in gaming content creators. And that is the fact that most streamers don't actually want to be content creators. Most streamers want to play video games and get paid for it. And the problem with that is that the bar is so much higher than that. You are competing with people who do want to be full-time content creators. So the question that I started in the beginning of this video is, do you want to be a creator or do you want to get paid to play video games? Those are the two different types of gaming content creators. If you want to be in that first group, you want to be a creator and you've already started your YouTube channel, the next step is simple. It's hard, but it's simple. You need to develop a skill that sets you above the rest. And that can mean you either get extremely good at something or you learn something that makes you very unique. And it's very hard, but it's unbelievably rewarding. This channel has kept me so busy for the last couple of years now that I haven't been able to spend time learning all the things I've had on my list of things I've wanted to learn. It's caused a little bit of a, an internal struggle, actually, maybe even combined with with a little bit of depression, which is why I'll be spending most of 2023 finally learning to do these things that have been sitting there in the back of my mind. Things like um, learning true filmmaking. I'll be spending serious time learning After Effects, uh, 2D and 3D animation. I'll be playing a ton more guitar. I've already booked a 30 day trip to Japan to immerse myself in the language. After almost four years of tutoring, I'm so excited about that. And if you're on board with all this, but you don't know where to get started, why don't you ask yourself what you enjoy watching and consuming? That's usually a pretty good indicator of what you're into, and that's a great place to start. And after all this, if you still fail, if you still never become a content creator, you've still developed a talent that makes you unique, and you have become something greater. And no one can take that away from you. So hit the like button if you haven't already, because it helps out the channel a ton. Leave a comment down below. If you don't have anything to say, just leave your favorite emoji. I would really appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, happy streaming.